ഗ്രേറ്റ് ടെൻ ബയോളജി ഹെറിഡിറ്റി ആൻഡ് എവല്യൂഷൻ മൊഡ്യൂൾ ടു ഒബ്ജക്റ്റീവ്സ് ടു ലേൺ അബൌട്ട് മെൻറ്റൽസ് എക്സ്പെരിമെൻറ്റ് മോണോഹൈബ്രിഡ് ക്രോസ് മോണോഹൈബ്രിഡ് ഫീനോടിപ്പിക് ആൻഡ് ജീനോടിപ്പിക് റേഷ്യോ ലോ ഓഫ് ഡോമിനൻസ് ലോ ഓഫ് സെഗ്രിഗേഷൻ ആസ് വി സ്റ്റഡീഡ് ഫ്രം ദ മൊഡ്യൂൾ ഫസ്റ്റ് ജെനറ്റിക്സ് ബിൽസ് വിത്ത് ദ സ്റ്റഡി ഓഫ് ഹെറിഡിറ്റി ആൻഡ് വേരിയേഷൻ ഹെറിഡിറ്റി ഇസ് ദ ട്രാൻസ്മിഷൻ ഓഫ് ക്യാരക്ടേഴ്സ് ഓർ ട്രേറ്റ്സ് from one generation to the next generation variation is the differences in the characters or traits between the parents and offspring it's of two types somatic variation and gametic variation gregor john mendel known as father of genetics was an austrian monk who worked on pea plants to understand the concept of heredity his work laid the foundation of modern genetics he made three basic laws of inheritance the law of dominance the law of segregation the law of independent assortment rules for the inheritance of traits or mental contribution the rules for inheritance of traits in living organisms are related to the fact that both mother and father contribute an equal amount of genetic material that is dna to their offspring so an offspring will get two versions of that trait from the two parents mental worked out rules for inheritance of these traits he observed a number of contrasting characters in garden pea mendel's experimental material mendel selected garden pea that is pisum sativum as his experimental material because of the following reason first availability of detectable contrasting traits of several characters second short life span of the plant third normally allows self fertilization but cross pollination can also be carried out and last large number of seeds produced following are the seven pairs of contrasting characters studied by mental in garden pea how are traits transferred from the parents to their offspring traits are the genetically determined characteristics which are transferred from both the parents to their offspring through the genes during the sexual mode of reproduction dna is a carrier of this genetic information and is found in the chromosome of our cells mono hybrid cross a cross between two types of plants of same species considering only the transmission of one character is called mono hybrid cross for example a cross between tall pea plants and dwarf pea plants that is considering only the height of the parents is a mono hybrid cross it will result in the formation of a tall offspring but they will be hybrid mendel took pure tall and pure dwarf plants and cross pollinated them to obtain f1 generation or first filial generation in the f1 generation he obtained tall plants the plants of f1 generation are self pollinated to obtain f2 generation then in the f2 generation he obtained 75 percentage of tall plants and 25 percentage of dwarf plants in the ratio 3 is to 1 and he found the phenotypic ratio that is 3 is to 1 and genotypic ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1 based on the mono hybrid cross mendel proposed two laws they are law of dominance and law of segregation this is the diagrammatic representation showing mono hybrid cross that is a cross between pure tall plants and a pure door plants another example of mono hybrid cross a cross between purple color flower and a white color flower mono hybrid cross is responsible for the inheritance of one gene it can be easily shown through a pannet square mono hybrid cross is used to observe how homozygous offspring express the heterozygous genotypes inherited from their parents each pea plant has two sets of every gene called alleles 
one received from the male parent and the other from the female parent when two such gametes having a single set of genes combine together they restore the normal diploid number of chromosomes in the progeny this is a mechanism of inheritance of traits law of dominance when parents with pure contrasting traits are crossed together only one form of that trait appears in the next generation the hybrid offsprings will exhibit only the dominant trait in the phenotype then law of segregation during the formation of gamete each gene separates from each other so that each gamete carries only one allele for each gene 